Today, I am going to discuss about the real numbers. This covers the concepts of natural numbers, integers, prime, even and odd numbers, rational, irrational numbers, real numbers, and their properties. Our objective in this lesson is to identify real numbers and its subsets. The real numbers. Let's start with natural numbers, denoted by this letter-like symbol N, which is a set of positive whole numbers. That is, it is written in this form, N equals the set of 1, 2, 3, 4, up to the positive infinity. Next, we have integers, denoted by this letter-like symbol Z, which is a set which consists of all negative and positive whole numbers and zero. In particular, it is written in this form. Note that the set of natural numbers is a subset of the set of integers. Since we have the elements for n, 1, 2, 3, 4, up to the positive infinity, and we have the elements for z or integers, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, up to the positive infinity. So the set of natural numbers is a subset of the set of integers. The set of negative integers is the elements from negative 1, negative 2, up to the negative infinity, while the elements 1, 2, up to positive infinity is a set of positive integers. The integer 0 is said to be unsigned. The set of non-negative integers is the set from 0, 1, 2, up to the positive infinity. Note that the set of natural numbers union with the set 0. If we have the elements for the na natural numbers or the elements for n is from 1, 2, 3, 4. And if we combine this or unite this with element 0, we have the set 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 of the positive infinity, which is the non-negative integers. A non-zero integer S divides T, denoted by S slash T, if T equals the product of S and L for some integer L, where S is a divisor of T, T is a multiple of S, and S and L are factors of T. To understand this definition, let us have this example. Take the integers 2, 13, and 26. The integers 2 and 13 are factors of 26 because 2 times 13 is equal to 26. And the integer 26 is a multiple of 2 and 13. Finally, the integers 2 and 13 divide 26. That is... 2 divides 26 and 13 divides 26. A prime number m is an integer m greater than 1 whose only factors are 1 and the number itself. Examples are 2, 11, 13 among others. An even number is an integer divisible by 2. In particular, a number m is even if it follows the form m equals 2n for some integer n. Example, the numbers negative 8, 100, and 42 are examples of even number since negative 8 is equal to the product of 2 and negative 4. 100 is equal to the product of 2 and 50. 42 is equal to the product of 2 and 21. 
This follows the form for even numbers, m equals 2n. An odd number m is an integer of the form m equals 2n plus 1 for some integer n. Example, the numbers negative 9, 25, and 41 are examples of odd numbers. Since negative 9 is equal to the product of 2 and 5 plus 1, 25 is equal to the product of 2 and 12 plus 1, and 41 is equal to the product of 2 and 20 plus 1. This follows the form m equals 2n plus 1 for odd numbers. A rational number is a quotient of an integer m and a non-zero integer n and denoted by letter-like symbol q. That is, q equals the set of m over n such that m and n are integers and n is not equal to 0. n should not be equal to 0 since a number divided with 0, the result is undefined. By definition, the numbers 0, which could be written in the form 0 over 1, 6, which is also equal to 12 over 2, negative 5 over 9, 14 over 17 are examples of rational numbers. A rational number, when expressed in decimal, can be terminating or repeating. In general, the set of integers is a subset of the set of rational numbers. An irrational number is a number such that when it is expressed in decimal, it is non-terminating and non-repeating. The set of irrational numbers is denoted by Q prime or Q complement, or the complement of Q. The numbers square root of 13 and cube root of 2 are examples of irrational numbers. Square root of 13 is approximately equal to 1.73205080767 and so on. And cube root of 2 is approximately equal to 1.25992105 and so on. A real number is either a rational or an irrational number and is denoted by this letter-like symbol R. So the real number system is divided into two, the rational numbers and irrational numbers. Rational numbers is consist of integers, whole numbers, and natural numbers.